Welcome to Jobs and Pods, the only podcast where real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Peter Clayton. Today's Jobcast will feature an interview with Roger Lynn, an IT specialist at IBM. Roger is currently overseeing the development of a multi-million dollar infrastructure project for the Department of Defense as part of IBM's Public Sector Consulting Division. Roger, welcome to Jobs and Pods. Thank you. Tell us uh, about your current project. How big is your team, and what's it like working with such an important client as the DOD? Well, my current project is one for which uh, we're, we're kind of in the final phases of uh, getting on contract. It is going to be a team size of over 40 people. It is a uh, very complex project in relationship to doing something for the DOD that's extremely critical to their uh, mission and their uh, their goals. And it, it's been very challenging from my perspective in terms of uh, the work that we're doing and also the importance of the work. Now, to work on this project, Roger, do you need some some type of security clearance? In this case, yes. Okay. Can you uh, describe the technical environment, what types of software, hardware, and programming languages you use? Not in detail, but generally we are focused on the implementation of uh, COTS software, um, we are using pretty generic hardware in terms of what we're trying to do. So I can't really go into much more detail at this point. Has this been your most challenging project thus far for IBM? It has. It has because I think my role has changed on this project in that I'm, I'm in a, a uh, leadership role, and, and the, the issues and such I'm dealing with has is, is been quite interesting and challenging. Um, but I think as you progress through IBM, that's what usually happens is we, we continue to expect more from individuals as they, they move up the chain. And how long have you worked for IBM, Roger? Um, I am heading towards six years now with IBM. Uh-huh. And what, uh, what got you to join IBM? At the time, it was a focus on moving back into this uh, DOD intelligence community space. Mm-hmm. So uh, that was the main reason I came back. And regarding that, how long do these types of engagements usually last? Um, is your team on site, or do they work virtually? My team is normally on site, uh, it, and the engagements vary depending on um, the customer and depending on the specific contract itself. Can you describe the jobs available in your service area and what skill sets you need uh, when you look for candidates to hire for this? There's a very wide range of positions available um, from, you know, testing to um, requirements, architecture, um, and then technical implementation type positions around like system administration, um, integration type positions, um, development type positions also. So it just varies depending on the contracts and the, and the specific uh, position. Mm-hmm. What, what kind of degrees do you look for normally? Again, that also varies. And it, it, it's, for me, it's depend. you know, I look at more the person's capabilities mm-hmm. ways and, and the years of experience and what they bring to the specific position and, 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 and also what, you know, what they're looking for going forward um, and whether they have a view of where their career is going to go. So degree to me is not always the most important thing. And so uh, I focus on capability and, and, and kind of direction that the individual has. Roger, in, in your opinion, why is IBM a great place to work? I think, uh, and uh, I'll be quite candid, I've been at IBM probably the longest of any of the positions I've been at before, and the reason is that I've always been challenged, and that's one of the things that I look for um, in a company is, is being having challenging work, being given new opportunities, um, and the other thing is also the people I'm working with, both uh, working with me and, and those people kind of managing me, I think, have really set a standard um, that I haven't seen at other companies. Can you describe your management style? Uh, I tend to be one who, who likes to give people the opportunity to try to define what they're trying, what they're doing in terms of, you know, here's a role, here's the general expectations I have of what, where we need to and what we need to get done. Um, you need to come back and tell me what then is your perspective, your uh, schedule, your task, that type of stuff, so then we can sit down and work together and try to get uh, to an answer. And so um, I tend not to try to uh, manage them at a very low level. I try to let them define for me what's going on, and I, I kind of interject as I look at the overall plan. Um, one last question for you, Roger. What advice can you give to individuals who want to work for IBM? I think um, 
the main advice, the things that I look for in an individual is uh, a track record, um, a focus on what they think they want to do going forward, and, and an understanding of what they want from a company. Um, and then I can match it back to what IBM can offer them and what IBM um, can give back to them in relationship to those kind of focus and desires that they have. Well, that will do it for this edition of Jobs and Pods. I'd like to thank Roger for his time today. To find out more about the jobs discussed today, please send an email with your name and interest to ibmhire at us.ibm.com. That's ibmhire at us.ibm.com. For more job casts like this, visit jobsandpods.com. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to our job casts on iTunes. Just do a keyword search on jobs and pods.